Hi everyone, this is a, a very important video about cars and safety. Um, I've seen a lot of people have their kids in the uh, first seat and they strap them in the front, like, you know, you and me, probably over the age of 12, and they just put the car seat in nowhere. So they don't use the car seat at all. They don't put it in the back or anything. They just put the key in the front and they strap the seatbelt around the way. And um, to me, I want to um, talk about my personal thing that happened with me. Um, my um, boyfriend, ex, um, mom, do not believe in car seats. And she choose to put him in the front, put the seatbelt in front of his waist, and he's not even one years old. And I was kind of hesitant to do a video on this, but um, yeah, I want to explain how I feel about that. To me, I feel bad, and I really want to stop with her and any other person that doing it to a kid that's on age because they could get killed or harmed and everything and they can't speak up for themselves and she will be reported for that hopefully and um, I'm going to court about it with my boyfriend and me, uh, my son because she don't, she believes that she don't have enough time with my son and uh, the reason why being because she don't um, abide by the law and why I don't believe of not giving him. She gave my son a bone. She gave him a lot of hard objects and stuff like that to put in his mouth and he shouldn't be eating. He didn't have teeth. And this happened three times. She put him in the car, in the car while the car seat and I think it's fine. Going around the corner and I, I feel like my son in danger and I think anyone will feel their kid in danger of someone taking the kid shouldn't give the right to their um, person to have the kid and that's how I feel about it. So she wanted my boyfriend to break up with me because um, I do not let her spend time with my son or like take him places and not in some sense of it. But um, any person in the right mind wouldn't want their kid to be a worse person who could hurt their son or them or something like that. So that's how I feel about it. And I'm going to court about it, so I don't care. And I have the law behind me um, for him to have the car seat and then her feeding hot objects to him uh, without my consent. And I had to catch her doing that in the act and I tell her not to do it. So, uh, I know it's probably more than me going through this, but uh, if you give her kid to your grandparents of the kid, make sure you keep eye on them or cousin or something like that. They have your kid. Make sure they have a car seat and make sure you wash your hands. Because I didn't know this was going on until I paid attention. I never thought in my mind that slave will do things and I thought she was smart but apparently not and um, I know I've seen it so many times when I go places with my son and I see a lot of people have their kids in the front and they be so short and they just be in there and just can you see them in the car you had to like look like this to see them in the car and they think it's funny and, and most of the older people younger kids and I know that had to be their grandkids or something like that so I'm gonna buy new one to make sure they look at their grandparents uncles or cousins if they take your kids somewhere um, make sure you go over the law with them of car seat uh, safely and um, everything else my son, he's always been back. When he was little, he was always facing our way. Now he's facing 
for Tracy because of his height and the doctor believes it's okay for him to do that because he's almost one, maybe one in two days. And um, I always make sure I do the right thing. I went to classes at my hospital to explain to you how to put a car seat in the car. I went to safety classes also at the hospital. So I know what to give my son and what not to give him. And um, I feel bad without some kids that probably die for these people. So, um, that's all I want to say. And I know why people are giving me their advice on it. Because I do want something done about this lady. Um, I kind of scared to put her in jail because of this. But, I mean, what thing you can do if she planning on carrying me to court? So, um... You want to just give me your advice? I'm sorry, I'm looking out here looking at these papers I have on my bed. So, give me your advice, and anyone else who went through this, let me know. So, I mean, advice is good, good or bad. In a way, probably some people say it's fine. But, um, anything can happen going around the corner, down the street. So, I believe a kid should always be in the car seat and you should always wear your seatbelt. I always wear mine, and uh, I believe in safety. And uh, please, anyone, whoever receives the people, do this. Stand for yourself. Don't be in the dark like my boyfriend was. Like, agree with his mom that's okay because he's scared of her. Stand up for yourself. Tell them what do you believe is right and wrong. And. Don't let them discourage you anymore. So, bye everyone. And, oh, that's all awesome. <laughs> So, um, please take this as a serious man, uh, matter. Because, I mean, anything can happen. And I just hope that this video do help you out there. And I don't. I'm getting one trouble, but uh, that's why I think and I believe that's right.